Hey there, Cindy Gawain. Talking today about what I call location, 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 what's the best neighborhood for you. I'm going to do another video on how to pick a, the best lot within a neighborhood. But first you have to pick which neighborhood. So you want to move, you think, to the Dallas Metroplex or you're being transferred here. Well, we it's a huge Metroplex and there are so many different kinds of personalities here. To think about, do you need space? We don't mo mostly we don't have big lots here, but there are certain parts of town where you can get an acre or a half acre lot. There's also a certain vibe about different parts of town. So, and I like to compare that to what kind of cars do you see there? That gives you an idea of what kind of vibe it might have. So, for instance, Garland or Mesquite in this area might have, uh, you might see a lot of pickup trucks. Whereas if you go to East Dallas, you're going to see energy efficient uh, cars like maybe a Prius would be an example of the type people that, in general, that you might meet there. So that's one way you can ask your agent to kind of describe the part of town as to what kind of cars, what I see, and what kind of cars um, are the personality there. So that's one way. Now, I also hear people say, oh, I just I, just send me to some place that has a good school district and I'll be happy because I've heard my, my mother told me that that's the way to pick a neighborhood. Well, that might be true. Um, homes will always resell well in this area in Capel and in Plano because those school districts have very high ratings. But if it doesn't meet your criteria for having the type of things you want to have or being around the kind of people you want to be around. For example, if you are single and like to go out a lot, then that those areas may not be the best for you because they're being good school district areas, they're real family oriented, which is fabulous for most people. Or if you're like me and you're older and your children are gone, then that's not that's no longer important. The other thing I like to tell people is, well, that's great, but you would have totally missed out on a fabulous investment in Uptown or Preston Hollow. Preston Hollow is a great place to be, but quite frankly, most Dallas area schools are not that great. So you would have to send your kids to private school. Has that affected property values in Preston Hollow? Not at all. So please extend yourself past just the thought of school district. So what else should you think about? Well, obviously, the, when you look at it from a statistical standpoint, ask your agent to tell you, run some statistics so you can see them yourself. For this price range home in this area, what are the average days on market? That will give you an idea of how popular and how easy to resell a home is. For example, Houses are just flying off the market in many parts of the Metroplex, but in some parts they are still slower. Um, if you had a beautiful home in the DeSoto, Duncanville, Cedar Hill area, it might take a little longer to sell than it would in Frisco Plano. But those statistics can show you that. The other thing you can ask your agent to run you is statistics that show what are the average what has happened to prices in the average over the last couple of years? Are they rising and how fast are they rising? We have all those metrics on MLS and that can also help you make a really good decision on what part of town is good for you. Best thing to have is a, is a agent who is not specific to one particular neighborhood but who works with buyers and can place them anywhere in the, in the Metroplex that meets their personality and their criteria. I worked with a couple who wanted Uptown and they had to fire their agent because he only knew Southlake, which is a fabulous community by the way, but they wanted to be in the middle of restaurants, music, activities, sports, that's more up because they were, they were uh, empty nesters. That's more uptown. That's not Southlake. So having an agent who understands all that and understands the different communities and can help you narrow down what is the best place for you 
is really important. And oh, also, traffic flows, traffic is terrible here. So understanding traffic flows, of course, if you do have to go into an office, is really important. So call me if you would like my list of areas in Dallas and what car would you be if you were in that area. Thanks. Signing off now. Bye.